so you know i had quite a few questions for you and you know we were talking earlier and i, I remember you said you know that when you got to the church in africa you thought why is the holy spirit telling you to say some of these things and you know i i sometimes try to make plans but you know when i go blank and empty i know that you know basically the lord just wants me to be as me as possible whilst i'm asking you this question rather than being pre-prepared and stuff like that but some of the things that was stood out to me or the questions i thought i wanted to ask you you know i wanted to ask you about uh, maybe i will start with this one the community in heaven you know if jesus spoke to you about the different communities in heaven and their spiritual state because i know you said you know you were going to talk to me about music but i wanted to find out about one the community in heaven because you know in ephesians it talks about you know the father you know of the families of earth and heaven so it shows that there's at least family down here and also up there at some point but if the lord gives you any insight into how that you know relationship and intimacy with god and one another continues on in that other realm there's um one of the things that people uh, mistake is they talk about uh, this three levels of heaven, this nine levels of heaven, 12 levels of heaven. Yeah, yeah, well, they're yeah. all wrong. There's, there's infinite levels of heaven. And by levels, when you go to heaven, Jesus puts you in the community, the level. I'm using level and community. It's the same. Yes. Where you would fit in. Because our sanctification is not completed here. It's completed in heaven. And when we go to heaven, um, God doesn't do magic. Magical thinking is not how God works. <laughs> God allows us to grow at the rate that's appropriate for us. Now, there are magical things that do happen when we go to heaven. For example, people that have disabilities, their disabilities are gone. You know, people that were blind, now they see. People that were crippled, now they walk. Um, everybody in heaven is young and beautiful. Everybody. Um, but in terms of your spiritual growth, like if what you need is you not need time for rest, you can go to a peaceful place where you can just sit and look at the birds so you can fish or you can sleep or you can you know just play with children whatever whatever it is i mean if that's what if that's what your life was too hectic and you never you need you go to rest if you have great intellectual curiosity you can go to, uh, like I described what he showed me, like a, this gigantic library where people like Aristotle and St. Paul and Plato and Isaac Newton and yeah, all these great yeah, thinkers yeah. are, and you can talk with them and explore ideas and uh, find out what's really going on in terms of the universe. Um, <laughs> you can, um, if you have uh, family issues you need to resolve, you get to be uh, with family. Um, you know, and when I say family, I'm talking about family you never even knew you had, because we all have a lot of family that, um, you know, I remember when my um, mother's mother was dying, she said, oh, you're just like my grandfather. Well, obviously, I never knew my grandmother's <laughs> grandfather. Long, 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 long. Anyway, so, so when I go to heaven, I, I need to meet my uh, grandmother's grandfather, because he, she, she, this is like, so she's dying. She told me how important it was that I, you know, should know him. Wow, that's impossible. But in heaven, I will know. I will know my grandmother's grandfather, and all of my, all of those relatives that I never met. And I, I'll get to understand uh, the whole family um, and be with my family. And of course, the the most important thing that I want to add is that God's love is the energy. It's the reason. It's the the ground of being of heaven. So everything is in love. There's no competition, there's no domination, there's no winning. Everybody um, is loving and kind and everybody wants everyone to succeed because su success is to grow in love, to receive God's love and to um, be able to express that love to one another. 
Um, we don't learn that very well in this world, but in heaven, and that is our ultimate sanctification, is to love one another. You know, Jesus summed up everything and it's in the Bible, in the Gospel of John, this is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. That's, that's it. That's the whole, that's what we're here on earth to do. This is school. And we have one lesson to learn how to love one another as he loved. And when we go to heaven, we fully learn what that really, really means. The, the problem with this world, it's hard in this world to love because there's people that um, don't reciprocate, don't receive, don't want, they reject it. We've all had the experience of trying to uh, be loving, which means kind, trusting, patient, giving, right? That's what loving means. We've tried that and we've had it like thrown back in our face. And it's like, man. <laughs> Hey, what happened? I just tried to be a nice. I just tried to be nice to you, and you just put me down. And, you know, kicked me in the gut. You know, not literally, but I mean emotionally. You know, um, we've all had that experience so often that it's like mm, I don't know if I can do this loving thing or not. You know, it's a little. I I try to be a kind, loving man, but I have to be very careful how I do it because I know, for particularly with women, so many women have been burned men men use love to seduce women and the women get used but they don't get loved mm. you know so you you, you got to be uh, really careful around women um men uh have learned not to just not to trust other men because you know they don't know what you know what are you after what do you, you know what do you want from me what, what do you, you want <laughs> yeah what do you, are you trying to take advantage of me? Um, uh, Which leads me to this another world question. is a hard place. Hard place. 